Welcome, guys, to another edition of Inside the Hatches Personal Player Interview. I'm Jerome Jones, your humble host, and I'm here with none other than the guy, the man, Mr. Jackson Powers. Mr. Jackson, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Doing great, man. It's great to see you again. I got to see you a couple of times in Georgia. Uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit, but Jackson is a BB from Grove um, High School. i um, sorry, Maple Grove High School. Um, 2023. Um, so he's going into his senior year. Um, I know he's uh, super excited. Um, glad to talk to you today. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, first and foremost, I want to talk about your name because I think it's a real cool name, man. Uh, Jackson Powers. And I don't, I, I don't, I don't personally say that a lot with you know people that have two last names, but I, I love your name. Um, do, any, do you get anybody talk about your name or anything like that? Like it's, it's just a cool name. I just think. Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of times people don't really think it's my real last name, so uh, that I was asking about it, and I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, man, that's awesome. That's awesome. So let's get in a little, get into a little bit of football. Um, why? What? What made you play football? I mean, you know, there's all types of different sports out there. Uh, football is the American uh, uh, pa favorite pastime, but what made you fall in love with football? Yeah, man. I mean. Uh... I started playing tackle football back in second grade. I was a three-sport athlete with baseball, basketball, and football. So I grew up on all three. And I think really when I started loving football more than the other sports was eighth grade. I mean, our team has always been good. We've been undefeated since sixth grade. Um, I just feel like being like as a team playing a hard-hitting sport, like because there's only eight games in the season. With baseball and basketball, you got a lot more. Mm -hmm. So you got to make the most of them. And I really think, like, the preparation that comes with it is what I like a lot, so. Yeah, and I, I totally agree with you. I, you know, I played a little football be um, back in my days, and I played DB like you playing. What made DB the position for you? Because, you know, again, there's other positions that you could have been playing. What is it about DB that, you know, brings the most out of you? Yeah, I used to play QB uh, back in the youth days, but I converted to DB freshman year, so I didn't really know what I was doing at first, but then I found out, like, oh, you need to know a lot, like, so much technical stuff, and being a safety, you need to know what everyone's doing on the field, you need to be on point with everything, and especially with corner, too, you need to, you have to have the best footwork on the field, you need to be a leader as well, but I really think, uh, again, the preparation and the uh, practice that comes with being a DB is really what uh, I like a lot. So, 100%, 100%. And do you think that DB is the hardest position in football? Because I'll be arguing with people all the time. It might be just my bias, but you did play a little quarterback too. Uh, I believe, you know, outside of quarterback, DB is the hardest position on a field. Um, what's your um, take on that? I definitely believe that DB is the hardest position to play because it's just you're one-on-one -on -one, you, you don't really know what the other person's doing most of the time exactly <laughs> and there's some really good receivers so uh yeah you got to be on point especially nowadays with the passing game and you know they're passing to the receiver they know what they're doing you don't you know they got they're the i think wide receiver is the most athletic position in, in football and then the db have to cover that so that will make that's why i think db is um the best the best position in football. I mean, hey, it might be biased, but hey, I say what I want to say. So <laughs> um, let's talk about a little bit about you playing in um, um, uh, Minnesota. Um, you're from Minnesota. Um, and I've seen a uh, previous interview with you talking about, you know, a lot, you don't get a lot of exposure um, out in um, Minnesota. I'm here, in, I'm here in Georgia. I'm originally from um, Jersey, so I kind of get some of that, um, understand how it is not, you know, you're not getting a lot of exposure in a, a certain town, but now I'm in Georgia. I see it's, a, it's crazy. I know Texas is, um, California. What is it about um, Minnesota that you know um, people may not know about Minnesota with your football? I feel like a lot of people just when they hear Minnesota and football, they don't really put the two together. But uh, there's a lot of dogs up here. We got the running game is very strong. Uh, that's what they're usually known for here in the uh, offensive line, defensive line. But the skill players, we got some really good ones up here. Uh, I think a lot of people just don't know 
what Minnesota football is like because it's so different from uh, down south. But. Definitely. No, I, I totally agree. I totally agree. So let's talk about a little bit your playing style. Um, I got to watch. I got to watch you in person. Um, first and foremost, and I always think that's the most important. But I got to watch some film of you as well, and I noticed that you know you, you're you're very smart. You're really good in your technique. But one of the things I noticed and love about you the most is your your patience. Um, tell me a little bit about your playing style um, and where you get that patience, and we learn like to have really good technique from. Yeah, so I train with the program called Potenza, and I've been training with them since freshman year. And uh, my trainers there really taught me, like, yeah, I'm not the biggest, fastest, strongest, but if I have good technique, then I can win every rep. You got to be smart playing DB as well. So I think for me, being patient and being smart is what gets me ahead of other people. No, and I totally agree. And, um, you know, before I seen, you know, from your film, I was like, man, this dude is a really good man on man corner. Um, you know, I got to see you at the uh, hot list camp in, here in Georgia um, this summer. And I really got to see you play a lot more man, you know, on a one on ones. But watching your tape, you're good at zone, too. Which um, technique do you prefer? Do you prefer playing zone? Because um, you're very smart. So zone works for you. Or do you like playing man where you can be more physical? And I, I notice you are a physical corner. Which one do you prefer? Uh, it's hard to say. I really like them both. But uh, man is like, I like it better because it's more one-on-one, -on -one, you against the other guy. It's uh, one winner instead of zoning you have help and stuff. But uh, I really like them both. Nice, nice. Yeah, and I also noticed you play a lot of special teams as well. And I play a lot of special teams myself. Um, that's how I kind of got in on the map when I played on um, Semi Pro. What is it about special teams? Um, you seem to like it. You seem to, you know, um, fly down the field and, you know, either you're covering um, punts or covering kicks or whatever. You seem to really like put your all into it. And not everybody does that. Um, what is it about special teams that, you know, makes you want to put your best effort towards? Uh, I honestly just want to be on the field all the time, so I want to make an impact anywhere I can, and special teams are a really good way to do that. Uh, especially on kickoff, getting the good starting field position for our defense, so I like that a lot. Uh, uh, yeah. Definitely, definitely. So, obviously, you know, um, if anybody's watching this, they're they looking at you and hearing you, you seem like a very humble person. But, you know, I see you on the field and you kind of got this like real quiet swag about you. So, I, you know, I see you. One of the things I want to say that you, I would call you a humble swag. I would say that about you. You got some humble swag about you. Um, do you think that's something, you know, um, that you try to uh, bring out a little bit when you are on a football field or how'd I go? Yeah, I, I confidence is everything for me. So I think I have to be confident to play well. But I don't want to be too cocky where <laughs> it doesn't look good for me. Uh, but I feel like when I play confident, that's when I'm at my best. Definitely. Definitely. All right, cool. So, you know, over the summer, you know, I know you've been working really hard. Um, you talked about you being been um, playing with Potenza. I would say the name wrong. Apologize. But you, you play with Potenza all the time. Um, you've been with Ball of Choice going on the camps. Uh, what are some of the takeaways you got from this summer and being able to, you know, hone your craft a little bit more um, being down here and doing these tours? Yeah, I mean, uh, I've been to Georgia, I think, four times this summer. So it's already a, it's kind of like a second home to me. Uh, yeah. The competition down there is, is it's different. It's a lot faster. Um, yeah. And I think proving myself proving to me myself and proving to others that I can play with those guys is uh, huge for me. Definitely. And what is one um, uh, takeaway you got from maybe playing with Potenza? Uh, I think uh, for me, Potenza is like a family mm -hmm. and our team was really like brothers. Like you go down to a bunch of other 7 on 7s, they'd be training up guys every week. And, but like we had our guys and we really bonded and I think that was good for our chemistry and it helped us win a lot of games. Definitely. Yeah, I, I've seen that a lot, you know, and you guys look like a little, uh, a brotherhood, you know, um, seeing how you guys are doing and y'all been going on championship runs and, you know, really, really representing Minnesota really well. 
Um, and speaking of um, supporting each other and things like that, um, you know, I've been at the um, Ball's Choice Hot List and I noticed, you know, your mom is very active and, you know, involved in what you're doing. Um, tell me something about your mom, how she's been um, helpful in your process and um, been able to help you out um, do, do all this, especially with you moving around and, you know, uh, traveling so much this summer. Yeah, my mom is uh, one of the hardest, if not the hardest working people I know. So I think her pushing me to work as hard as her is helping me through this whole process and just her support of the mom, just being there for her son. So I'm really happy about that. Definitely awesome, man. That's great. So I know you're going into your senior season. Uh, what is something that you would like to take away from this season? Something that maybe a goal that you may have or something? Uh, I mean, we went to the semis last year, so I'm trying to make it back and uh, win the whole thing. But for me, the senior season is about being with my bros for the last year and, you know, making the most out of it. Because we know we're a good team. Uh, we just got to go show everyone we can do it again. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. So um, tell the viewers a little bit about yourself, maybe something that they might not know uh, as a player and the, uh, a man, you know, uh, names, you know, Again, you're not really that much on the map right now, you know, and hopefully they, they know Jackson Powers by the end of this um, this interview. But tell us something that maybe somebody don't know about you um, on and off the field. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm a leader, obviously. Uh, I'm a captain, so I got to be a leader. Uh, I re I'm really competitive. Like, uh, my friends and I, we be going, I have a basketball court and it be getting a little bloody sometimes because <laughs> it turns into football. But yeah, we're uh, really competitive. And I just think that's a big part for me in a player and as a person. Uh, I always wanted to do my best and be my best. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. So right now you got Connecticut, um, Butler, and um, Morgan State at, on your radar. Right now you got um, offers from them. Um, tell me a little about that, and or is there any other schools that you would love to get offers from, or you know, you've been hearing some buzz from lately? Yeah, um, I got UConn a while back, and I've been I've been up there twice now. Nice. So I think right now that's uh, one of the top of my list. But I'm really just trying to get as much exposure as I can because sure. I want any team that really wants me so that's awesome man yeah and good luck with everything like that i hope you uh succeed with that but before we get off i do i, I love the end of the um, conversation and the interviews with you know a, a, some fun questions so let's get right into it so favorite food uh quesadillas Quesa Ooh, i like you quesadillas man you don't hear that you don't hear people say quesadillas that's, <laughs> that's top tier right there that's top tier i like it i like it um, so if you had a, yeah, you walked in a room and a theme song came on every time you walked in the room, what would that theme song be for you? Theme song. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. I gotta think What's your favorite this. song right now? What's your favorite song? Uh, Super by Corday. Okay. There you go. There you go. All right. I like it. I like it. See? Humble swag. Humble swag. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, favorite NFL player? Uh, Jair Alexander. Ooh, see, man, he's on. He's on a, a rise. People gonna know about him. He's he's a baller. He's a baller. I like that. Um, favorite sport other than football? Basketball. Basketball. Yeah, you, you yeah. a baller. I'm a hoop player. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. What position would you play? Uh, I usually play the three. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Awesome. Outside of football, favorite hobby? Hobby. Swimming. Okay, swimming. swimming at All the right. lake. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Especially, you know, you've been in Georgia for a while, so you know how, how high <laughs> it is down here. You need that swimming. <laughs> I'm hot right now. I'm in Georgia right now. So. <laughs> um, uh, if you have a nickname, what would that be? And the funniest nickname out of a teammate that you have? Uh, my nickname is JP. JP, uh, okay. My teammates call me JP. The funniest teammate's nickname um we call a kid benji benji yeah Ooh, benji. okay okay who, who, who um shout out benji this is, uh, this shout is... out katie kopik yeah Cody kopik. okay okay yeah. so katie kopik 
you, you put you on the spot right here. So there you go. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And um, last one, last one. I'm, I'm going to get you in trouble with this one. But on a Potenza's team, who has the most swag? The most swag? Me. All right, me. there you go. It's me. That's, that's no question. No question. All right, I'm gonna get you a little a little trouble with that one, but it's all right, man. <laughs> well, Jackson, it was great talking to you today. Appreciate you getting on. Um, I know you got a flight going on, so I'm gonna get you out of here. But I really do appreciate you squeezing us into your schedule. Good luck with everything this season. You know, inside the hash, we will definitely be uh, checking you out and you know uh, supporting you along the whole way. So good luck with everything. Yeah, thank you so much. It was a pleasure. No problem. It was definitely a pleasure. So. Uh, thank you guys for checking us out. Again, this is Drum Jones from Inside the Hashes. Uh, if you want to check all this out, it's on our YouTube channel on um, Inside the Hashes. Check it out on there. Also, make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, Inside the Hashes on those as well. And thank you guys for uh, checking us out. See you and have a good day. Peace.